Welcome back to SciTech and Mountain Earthworks training videos. I want to show you a little life hack for using the system to understand quantities and lengths. Um, I had a customer once uh, that was digging a lot of uh, trenches one day, and the trenches are kind of in, out, all over the place. And he was curious, how could I use the Earthworks machine to just, at the end of the day, know how much length I've covered without having to walk back? get it with a tape measure or a wheel or just kind of figuring it off the plans. Um, and one thing that I taught him was how to just record points as you go, even if it wasn't a straight line. And then you don't have to use what's called the measure mode to do it, but you can use infield design alignment and section to add up the length of all these different sections if you needed to. So this is just kind of a, a life hack option. So what I was going to show you, I don't have an actual trench that I dug. But just to show you how that works is I'm going to go ahead and reach out here with my excavator and I'm going to record a point. Just use the middle of my bucket. And I'm going to go into the record point and I'll give it a name just for uh, uh, just so I know. I'm going to put beginning in. Just so I know that's where I started. I'm going to hit save. So it actually records a point on the screen. And then if I had actually dug over to a different spot. Let me just go through here and just record uh, two or three more points just to give you the idea here. So I'll record my last point right there. So I've got four different points that may represent where I had actually dug something for the day. What I can do is go into my shovel with the gear at the bottom right here, and I can go to job setup, and I can hit the plus button down here next to guidance surface if you're on the newest version. But either way, just go to alignment and section, and then in here, it's asking you how do you want to build your alignment and section. Instead of using the focus point of the bucket, I'm going to go ahead and do points. So in here, right off the bat, I'm just going to hit plus, and all I'm going to do is start with my beginning point, and I'll hit select, and then I'll hit plus, and I'll go to building beginning two, and it's going to start building an alignment. And you can see that each one of those tells me how long it is. So that one's 24.95. It's on an angle, so you don't want to do the other one. And then what I can do is hit number three and add this in, and then I can hit number four and add this in. And as you can see, each one of these actually gives me the segment length in between it. So instead of just picking in between the two ends, so what I'm gonna do is just take my phone with my calculator here and I'm gonna go in between those first two and say 24.95 plus, zoom out, hit the next one, plus that last one, which is a 90.42, 90.42. So there we go. So my total length right there is 127.17. So that's just an option that you can use alignment and section for. It's kind of a life hack uh, outside of the box. I'm not going to build a model out of that. And those were just, that's how far that I actually went in my day as I dug trenches, if I remember to record points as I do that. So you can just cancel out of this. Say, yes, I don't want to. Go right back to your main job site. And there's your two different points, or all your different points on the screen, and you're good to go. So even if you needed to record or delete those, you can either delete them manually, or next time you record a point, you can actually just create measured data folders. So in theory, you can actually create and add a day-to-day -day in there and actually add them all together. Or leave it on the same one, and then tomorrow, as you continue to dig further from your endpoint, you can just go back to infield design and actually get the alignment from either beginning to the very end or just from where you ended that day. But thanks for watching this video from Site Tech in a Mountain, Earthworks training videos on using alignment section and points to figure out the lengths of what you've dug for the day.